Good morning. Shall we begin our discussion on healthcare reform? Yes, let's dive into it. I believe accessibility should be our top priority. Absolutely, but we must also consider the financial implications. We need a balanced approach. I agree. Maybe we can explore public private partnerships to fund healthcare initiatives? That sounds promising. It could alleviate strain on public resources. What's your stance on mental health support within healthcare? It's crucial. We need to invest more in mental health services to address the growing need. Agreed. Prevention and early intervention can save lives and resources in the long run. Speaking of prevention, what are your thoughts on tackling climate change? It's urgent. We must implement green policies to mitigate its effects on public health. Absolutely. Renewable energy sources and carbon reduction targets are key. But we must ensure a just transition for workers in affected industries. Of course, we can't leave anyone behind. Shifting to green jobs is essential. Moving on to education, how do you propose we improve our schools? We need more funding for teachers and resources to enhance the learning environment. Agreed. Smaller class sizes and updated curriculum can make a significant difference. We also need to address disparities in access to quality education. Yes, equitable distribution of resources is essential for ensuring every child has an equal opportunity. Absolutely. Let's not forget about immigration reform. It's a complex issue. Indeed, we need a comprehensive approach that balances security with compassion. And we must provide a path to citizenship for undocumented immigrants already contributing to our society. Agreed. It's not only a moral imperative, but also an economic one. Turning to foreign policy, how do you propose we navigate global challenges? Diplomacy should be our first resort, backed by a strong defense when necessary. I concur. Building alliances and promoting peace should be our guiding principles. However, we must also prioritize national interests and sovereignty. Of course, finding the right balance is key. Let's also address income inequality. It's a pressing issue that requires systemic changes to our economic policies. Absolutely. We need to raise the minimum wage and ensure fair taxation. And investing in job training programs can empower individuals to succeed in a competitive market. Agreed. Economic opportunity should be accessible to all, regardless of background. Let's circle back to healthcare. How do you propose we tackle rising costs? We need to negotiate drug prices and promote competition among insurers. Yes, transparency and accountability are essential in the healthcare industry. And empowering consumers to make informed choices can drive down costs. Absolutely. It's about putting patients first and ensuring they receive quality care without financial burden. Well said. These are complex issues, but with collaboration and dedication, we can find solutions that benefit everyone. I couldn't agree more. Thank you for this productive discussion. Practice session. Let's practice together. I'll go first. Good morning. Shall we begin our discussion on healthcare reform? Absolutely, but we must also consider the financial implications. We need a balanced approach. That sounds promising. It could alleviate strain on public resources. What's your stance on mental health support within healthcare? Agreed. Prevention and early intervention can save lives and resources in the long run. It's urgent. 
we must implement green policies to mitigate its effects on public health. But we must ensure a just transition for workers in affected industries. Moving on to education, how do you propose we improve our schools? Agreed. Smaller class sizes and updated curriculum can make a significant difference. Yes, equitable distribution of resources is essential for ensuring every child has an equal opportunity. Indeed, we need a comprehensive approach that balances security with compassion. Agreed. It's not only a moral imperative, but also an economic one. Diplomacy should be our first resort backed by a strong defense when necessary. However, we must also prioritize national interests and sovereignty. It's a pressing issue that requires systemic changes to our economic policies. and investing in job training programs can empower individuals to succeed in a competitive market. Let's circle back to healthcare. How do you propose we tackle rising costs? Yes, transparency and accountability are essential in the healthcare industry. Absolutely. It's about putting patients first and ensuring they receive quality care without financial burden. I couldn't agree more. Thank you for this productive discussion. Now, let's switch the role. You go first. Yes, let's dive into it. I believe accessibility should be our top priority. I agree. Maybe we can explore public-private partnerships to fund healthcare initiatives? It's crucial. We need to invest more in mental health services to address the growing need. Speaking of prevention, what are your thoughts on tackling climate change? Absolutely. Renewable energy sources and carbon reduction targets are key. Of course, we can't leave anyone behind. Shifting to green jobs is essential. We need more funding for teachers and resources to enhance the learning environment. We also need to address disparities in access to quality education. Absolutely. 
Let's not forget about immigration reform. It's a complex issue. And we must provide a path to citizenship for undocumented immigrants already contributing to our society. Turning to foreign policy, how do you propose we navigate global challenges? I concur. Building alliances and promoting peace should be our guiding principles. Of course, finding the right balance is key. Let's also address income inequality. Absolutely. We need to raise the minimum wage and ensure fair taxation. Agreed. Economic opportunity should be accessible to all, regardless of background. We need to negotiate drug prices and promote competition among insurers. And empowering consumers to make informed choices can drive down costs. Well said. These are complex issues, but with collaboration and dedication, we can find solutions that benefit everyone.